Hi, I'm Christian, the online director. Have you ever received an apology from someone that just didn't seem sincere? Perhaps it felt flippant or like they were just saying sorry to check the box of what they think they should do or what you expect in order to move on. Have you ever questioned an apology to dig a little deeper only to realize they don't even understand the offense that they made or they're not really that sorry after all? Does this type of apology work for you? Or are you like me and get frustrated that the person that did you wrong didn't even care enough to seriously consider your feelings and honestly attempt to make amends? It can make you feel even worse, perhaps taken for granted, almost like they are making a hollow statement to appease you so that they can get on with whatever it is that they want. The Apostle Paul warns us against doing the same thing while taking communion. In 1 Corinthians 27, he says, So anyone who eats this bread or drinks this cup of the Lord unworthily is guilty of sinning against the body and blood of the Lord. That is why you should examine yourself before eating the bread and drinking the cup. You see, at the Last Supper, when Jesus introduced communion, he took some bread, thanked God for it, broke it in pieces, and said, This is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Then he took the cup of wine and said, This cup is the new covenant between God and His people, an agreement confirmed with my blood. Do this in remembrance of me as often as you drink it. Do this in remembrance of me. What does that look like? When you take that moment to think on Him, His ministry, and His commands, you should find yourself in awe of Jesus, how He, who knew no sin, sacrificially gave his life to pay the price for your sins. Then take a mental inventory by comparing yourself to Jesus and against the commands he gave to us. You'll become aware of your sinfulness and how you fall short of his commands for us. Now confess your sin. Sincerely and honestly ask him to forgive you of your wrongdoing and allow his grace and love to wash over you. This is what communion should be an opportunity to acknowledge the sacrificial love of Jesus, a realization of our shortcomings and utter dependence on Him, followed by deep, heartfelt appreciation for the forgiveness He gives even when we don't deserve it. Now we are really ready to worship Christ the King. We take communion often at Calvary, so the next time you do, do it in remembrance of Jesus. Come ready to confess. Have a great day.